Before we start, gonna give a quick shout out to AUGO, aka Black Ursus. You can stop over his channel, check him out, and I did already give him a shout out. I'm pretty sure this comment here is from November. Um, basically, anytime anyone has asked for a shout out, I've screenshotted it and saved it. So I'm gonna go through all of them and just add them to future videos. And if you want a shout out, just let me know in the comments below and I will add it to one of those future videos. But now on with this video. What is up guys? We are back here in Deadheads and we got an awesome video here for you today. If you look at my gold in the top right, we are at 1604. And that means if we go to shop, we can afford our first legendary crate. I'm assuming this is the best one to buy. We'll take a look at them here. Master crate, you get 50 to 70 thorium. You get 10 cards. So out of those 10 cards, okay, I get it now. Out of those 10 cards, at least one is a character, at least one is a weapon, and at least three are rare. Um, so you can do that for 210. Then they have the Elite Crate, 150 to 210 Thorium. You get 30 cards, and out of those cards, you get at least two character cards, two weapons, three rare cards, and one epic card. And then we have the big boy, the legendary crate, 900 to 1260 thorium, 180 cards. That's crazy. Then we have, out of those cards, we have at least 10 characters, at least 10 weapons, at least 15 rare, and at least 5 epic. So let's see what we got in inventory, just to give you an idea. So Epic looks like the second most rare uh, classification, I guess we'll call it. You see here we got, you know, just looking at the Saber Twins as an example. We have Common Skins, we have Rare Skins, we have Epic Skins, and then we have Legendary Skins. And I'm pretty sure that's the same for the Soldiers. Let's see. Yeah, we have Legendary, Epic, Rare. So we got a chance at some cool stuff, but... If we only get five epic cards, you know, at least five epic cards, there could be more, but let's just say we get five, you know, we're not gonna unlock any of these, like, for the Imperial skin here, you need 20 cards to get that. I'm crazy excited to uh, give this a go. Haven't seen anybody else open a pack like this yet, so without further ado, let's do it. Purchase initiated. There we go. There's our thorium. We got 1324. Oh, we got 1147, 1324 total. Tap the box to continue. We got 10 times common IDD soldier cards. We got 1 times MASR marine card. Ooh, 5 times epic. That's the Imperial skin I just mentioned before. That's funny that we got that one. So we're at 5 out of 20 for that skin. That would be pretty cool. Down the line to unlock. We got 84 cards. 84 for the Savage SG500. 64 cards for the Jericho Star 22. 15 rare cards for Savage SG500 Desert Camo. That would be pretty awesome to unlock. And it looks like this is our last one here. One epic card, Savage SG500 Neon Skin. So that is that. Just like that, we unlocked or opened, whatever you want to call it, our first legendary crate. Pretty cool to see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now I'm not sure what I want to upgrade, I can't upgrade this soldier yet. The way it works, you have to fill up the cards and then you can upgrade that item. So my IDD soldier here is at level five. And so you need 50 cards. And once you hit 50 cards, you'll be able to upgrade to the next level, level six. And then there'll be a new threshold of cards to hit to unlock, you know, level seven. Um, but when you do the level up, it costs thorium to level up that's kind of an overview of how it works and it applies to the characters the weapons um, you know like these skins here 
like I kind of touched on before. Um, like let's take the reflex one on the left there, the green, greenish one. You see it says one out of 20, so we need 19 more cards to unlock that and get that available. You see like jungle camo, which I did unlock. I don't know if plus three means I have three extra cards or what. Doesn't look like you can do anything with the extra cards, but I got all the cards to unlock that. And if you go to shop, they do have cards here where you can buy with thorium. Um, I think that's how I got the jungle camo actually. I just bought all of the cards to unlock it. Um, so like Arctic Camo here, 0 out of 20, rare card, you could buy all cards for 42,000 Thorium and that would give you the Arctic Camo skin for the Saber Twins, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, this game was really confusing when I first opened it, but it's it's all making sense now and it's it's a pretty good setup I think. Pretty fair, fair crate system, you know, a lot of crate systems are pay to win. You know, it doesn't necessarily seem that way, but who really knows? You know, I need to I need to experience some more multiplayer to really get a feel for that. Um, but let's see, should we upgrade anything? Let's see what I'm rocking with. Got the Plutonium Lance, got the Savage SG. We could upgrade the MASR Marine. I'm gonna go with the Savage SG. So you tap to upgrade tells you how much damage increased, how much reload increased. And obviously some of the other stats could change eventually down the line, I'm assuming. Then you see the next level is 1000 Thorium, so we're only at 924, so can't go any farther at this point, but we do have enough cards. We're at 90 out of, two, out of 20. Looks like we can upgrade the Plutonium Lance. We'll give that one a go. So our Plutonium Lance is now level 3. We got plus 3 damage, plus 0 0.4 reload. And we don't have enough cards to continue to upgrade that guy. You see it's at 2 out of 10 now. Let's see, MASR Marine. Let's just spend our Thorium. Why not? Got this guy to level 3, plus 5 health, plus 2.5 speed. 400 to go another level. Let's just do it. Probably a waste of money. Probably going to regret it later on, but... <laughs> Whatever, we got another 5 health and we got another 2.5 speed. And now we have 7 out of 20 cards, so we can't upgrade them until we get more cards. Pretty standard. Um, let's see, health is at 115. And speed. Oh, so he's close. He's getting close to the IDD soldier at level 5. And I think that's all we can do. I think that's all it can do, but that is our first ever opening video of a legendary crate. It wasn't really a as exciting as I kind of hoped it would be, but you know, it was pretty cool. I don't know, if you're playing the beta, just be sure to get your free crate up there in the top left every four hours. I've been pretty religiously logging in every four hours just to claim that crate. And that's what you can expect out of a legendary crate deal, so. I'm definitely excited to uh, put this video out there, uh, maybe something you haven't seen yet in Deadheads, and stay tuned for more videos, more Deadheads videos, and I post tons of other videos on my channel, be sure to check them out, be sure to subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you on the next video.